Hey guys, Ethan here from Extreme RC 4x4. Today I'm working on the Trail Runner. Um, I managed to break one of the front knuckles on it. Doesn't look like it because I have it kind of just set in place right now, but um, I'm going to be replacing the stock steering knuckles uh, with these SSD brass enduro knuckles. Hopefully there'll be a direct bolt up for this. Um, because I think this uses the same steering knuckles that the solid axle uses but um, if you don't know the trail runner has the IFS from the factory so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to install these guys okay guys so I decided to go ahead and do the first side off camera just so um, I could see everything that needed to go into the install first sometimes just to makes it a little bit easier to film it once I know what I'm getting into so of course we need to remove the wheel and tire on this side that we're working on um, just this little hubcap here and our wheel nut needs to come off we can pull this right off and the first thing I like to do is remove the steering arm from the knuckle with these two bolts on the very top of the knuckle. And then with that out of the way, it's probably easiest to flip the truck upside down. We're going to be working with these uh, ball joints here, so I guess with it upside down I can get this bottom one first. We just have a nut and then we can unscrew it. These ball studs I guess they are called. And now I'll flip it back over and get this top one here. So I'll go ahead and show you where my knuckle failed. Just right here on the top. So, um, with this knuckle taken off the truck now, we're going to pull the hex off. It doesn't have any set screw holding it on, it's just plastic. And then this uh, pin that goes in the axle shaft will fall out, or mine did at least. When you're pulling this out of the stock knuckle, you'll want to make sure you get this large bearing out of the back side. My last one just slipped out with the axle shaft, so... All right, so got this guy pulled out. Now we can get our new knuckle. The machining on these knuckles is really uh, something to look at. I think SSD did a really nice job on uh, finishing these. They look really, really good. So now we can go ahead and put our large bearing back in the back side here with the axle shaft.
We'll just seat the bearing on the axle shaft first, and then we can install it. It slips right in. And the next piece we'll need is the bearings that are included with the SSD kit. Uh, it's a slightly larger bearing for the outside of the knuckle. And if you notice, it's a little bit tight to install in there. I just put a little bit of gear oil around it. Nothing excessive. I'll wipe it around. Then I'll put the axle shaft back in because it fell out. Put the hex on here and then I take the wheel nut along with my nut driver and use it as a press to seat everything in there. It goes in a lot easier once you add the oil. I'm just gonna wipe all the extra off just so it doesn't collect dirt. And make sure everything spins nice and smooth as it does. So from here, we will be putting it back onto the truck. Just wanna make sure you get the axle shaft into the differential. I'm sure I'll be fighting it. But my struggle with the last one was that these ball joints or these ball studs were tight in the knuckle. So I'm gonna add oil before I even start um, just to this hole right here where normally you have the brass bushing. Um, it was a little bit tight on these ball studs. So I'll add the oil first and then that should make things easier. Of course, you have the nut that goes on the bottom. Just want to make sure it gets started before cross thread anything. Now I'll flip it over and do the bottom side. When we're doing this, since I already have the top one installed on this ball joint, it's important to make sure that we have the axle shaft uh, lined up for this one. Um, into the differential, otherwise we'll have to take it back apart. was a little bit of a pain uh, just getting all these ball studs lined up and the tolerances are a little bit tight but got it all cleaned up now everything looks good and now we can go ahead and put the little shaft back into our axle shaft and pop the hex back on it before it falls out. Now we can flip the truck back over and here comes to my next problem with these knuckles. Uh, the screws 
from the factory to attach this steering arm are just slightly too long or the holes in this new brass knuckle are slightly um, too shallow. So these are M3 by 10 millimeter screws and I'll be replacing them with two M3 by eight millimeter screws that I have over here. Um, I just have a bunch of stainless steel hardware, as you guys can see, for uh, packaging up my products. If you don't know about the products I make for this truck and many others, make sure to check out my website, links in the description, or you can just type Extreme RC 4x4 into your browser make this cool trailing arm kit and the uh, anti-sway bar mounts but as I was saying these M3 by 8 millimeter screws do the job just perfectly and we can just attach the arm back on Now I'll go ahead and put the wheel and tire back on. Alright guys, well that's the install done. We're left with the factory outer bearings. For the knuckles um, these four screws that I didn't reinstall for the steering arm just because of the fact that um, they're too long and this hardware for the solid axle um, just because this is for all the bushings for the steering uh, we don't need that with the ball studs so Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the website for the products I make for this truck and a few others. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.